so finally I finished my emergency backup power supply <laughs> it composed of a battery and a emergency backup unit okay my load is my incubator this is a sub this is an emergency backup power supply for my incubator it's currently running right now so here we can we can see the this this indicator is for the battery voltage 13.4 volts current zero, zero when this unit is charging this amperage when we are uh, delivering when we are uh, uh, charging current going to the uh, battery this ampere re reading will not uh, read anything but when we pull out current out of the battery for usage then it will indicate amperage reading uh, ampere ampere uh, reading this is the charger the charger it's uh, reading 13.4 volts it's delivering it's charging 6.3 amps going to the battery right now it's a uh, 35 percent uh, uh, 35 percent uh, charge my battery is 35 percent charge here there is my battery okay yes okay i'll try to simulate the power interruption okay, we'll remove we'll simulate power interruption the emergency backup should uh, take over I pull out now I pull out the utility I see the reading oh what the oh, 60 amps oh no not 60 amps <laughs> oh no okay right now the my incubator heater is not yet on that's why it's pulling less current so the settings is 37.5 it's uh temperature is 37.6 so heater is off <sighs> at that at this uh, moment it's pulling out 37 0.37 0.37 amps I opened the uh, incubator uh, uh, cover to reduce decrease temperature we'll see if the heater will cut in it should cut in it should cut in by now <laughs> It should cut in now. Uh, it should cut in how much current? Oh no. Oh, I see. Now I think that, yeah, it's cutting in. The heater is on. Heater is on. So, <laughs> how much? Oh, it's pulling, pulling 12, 11 amps. It's pulling 11 amps from the battery then and there is a there's an instantaneous not instantaneous it would sometimes uh, during the heater uh, start or uh, during the heater cut cuts in the current actually jump up 
to 12 ampere something okay now <laughs> to try to to try to increase the temperature and cover it okay now cover it Hmm, still, still, seven point zero six. Um, we're pulling current still from the six point nine seven amps pulling from uh, uh, battery. Now we will try to normalize the the utility power try to normalize it try to normalize it let's see okay let's see now the charger is charging the battery the charger is charging the battery and the load my incubator load is now directly connected to our supplied by our DU yes now it's supplied by our DU mm. inside actually inside a little messy some relays we have a smart timer it's an online timer connected to our wi-fi it's a programmable timer it actually uh, this is timer controls the charging time at normal operation charging time it will charge from 10 to 3 pm when my uh, solar power when my solar is at full uh, operation at full operation but in case uh, the uh, utility power was uh, uh, unavailable or is unavailable then once it came back on it will charge the timer the timer is set to charge automatically that's it